everyone, my name is Lillian and I'm currently a graduate student in a biology PhD program over at Harvard. So it's 6.50 a.m. right now in Boston. I'm in the point in my process in the PhD where I am picking a lab. Like, it's one of those life decisions that will actually have a huge effect on you. It will affect the way you're trained and not only that, the name follows you for the rest of your life, and that's just kind of a lot of pressure. So for those of you who aren't familiar with like how a PhD works, is a PhD is a research degree. So it teaches you how to conduct experiments, write papers, and communicate your research. And so being in a biology PhD means that I'm going to be trained by a biologist in how to do those things specific to the biology field. Because bio programs really do tend to go on for like years, it's really important that you pick a good lab and a good mentor. You have to pick a lab that with generally people you like because if you don't get along with the people or if the lab environment isn't good, you're going to be miserable. But also you want to pick a mentor that is really a good fit for you, one that you trust to train you on how to do science. and. That can be hard to gauge if you don't really know how to do much research if you haven't had much experience with it. So basically the way the process works in a bio PhD because of this lab based process is the first year of the PhD, in addition to taking classes, we do something called rotations, which is basically you spend around six to 12 weeks in a lab, just checking it out, doing some of the science, seeing if you like the people, seeing what the mentor style is like, how often are they around, how do they advise people, seeing the collaborative nature of the lab. It's just like, is this the right fit? So today I'm gonna take you around a typical day of what it's like to be a PhD student in their first year. One of my friends just got on the bus. This is my friend Naran. Hi. Um, so do you want to just tell everyone what program you're in and what you've been up to? Yeah, Lily and I are BBS G1s. Um, I am about to give a metabolism presentation on vitamin C. I'm rotating in a cancer immunology lab that I'm super psyched about. So. This is my friend Kevin, and we just got out of our metabolism class where a bunch of people gave presentations, and now we're about to head into lab. We are in different labs, um, so do you want to just like talk about the kind of work you're doing? Yeah, uh, right now I'm working in a lab at Brigham Women's Hospital. It's uh, focused on cancer metastasis and how it spreads uh, in response to instigating cancer cells. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And so what's pretty typical for us as rotation students is we get out of class and then head over to our rotation labs where we typically do just like a project or sometimes people do too. Bye internet. <laughs> So I'm in lab right now. I'm a currently a rotation student in the DePace lab, which is a lab that studies gene regulation in flies. So far, this experience has been really great. Um, I really love the lab environment, and Angela DePace is a phenomenal person. People really respect each other here, and that's definitely one of the things that I'm looking for in a lab is mutual respect and collaboration. So right now, I'm running something called a Western blot, which will allow us to measure protein changes. So I started this experiment yesterday, and I'm gonna be getting the results today. So now I'm getting my data. This is what it looks like. So there's a blot, which involves, you know, a piece of paper with some protein on it, um, to put it very simply. And this computer right here is reading the amount of protein that I put on the gels and letting me know what it looks like over here. Wow, 
looking good. So the data acquisition went really well and now I'm actually going to have a meeting with someone else. So one part of being a rotation student is that you really try and find a good fit for a lab. And what that means is meeting with other people outside of the lab to really ask them what their thoughts are. So I just finished getting dinner with my friend Jacob and it was a really good time. We talked through a lot of the things that I learned about today, about the lab that I potentially may be joining and he helped me make some decisions. I haven't picked the lab that I'm gonna join yet. I still have one more rotation left, so it's a little bit early for that. But I have some things in mind for the past labs that I've worked in and I think it'll be really cool I'm just coming up with projects and stuff. So now I'm just heading home. Thankfully, I still have some work to do for my classes. I did do some of it earlier with my friend, but there's always more work to do. So it's always nice to do it from the comfort of your home rather than being several buses away. So something that's a pretty common occurrence is there will be events that happen in the Science Center of Harvard and apparently now there's actually the Cambridge Science Festival that's going on. Um, there are like banners and all that stuff that have been around all in the city but I actually didn't realize it was at Harvard so that's pretty cool. Looking through it, it looks like it's going on all of this weekend which is a nice treat, something to go to. Given that I'm in my first year, other than homework and like maybe some experiments. Really, I don't have much to do like outside of that, which is very rare in a PhD program. Um, like that won't happen when I'm a G2, G3, etc. So I'm really gonna cherish this time and check out the Cambridge Science Festival this weekend. So it's 8.15 now and I'm back home. It's pretty late as it takes a while for me to get home. And now I just, like I said, I have some homework to do. So that will usually actually be the end of my night. I try my best to really unplug and not do anything past nine o'clock. So I'll just be working for the next 45 minutes. And then after that, just relax for a bit, watch some anime or, you know, play some chess just for fun to relax myself, so. So I'm all done with my work now, thank God. Um, it's very different to be a graduate student because homework isn't something you really have to worry about. Like, you still have to do it, but you're not as concerned with grades. I've actually found that I'm able to balance my time better because of that when there's a lot less pressure and I actually end up doing better. Though that may also be because um, graduate classes can often, but not always, be easier than undergrad classes. So. Now that I'm done with homework, I usually chill. Um, it's important to note though that it's pretty much an exception that I'm out, um, that I'm back this early. Usually I would still be in lab and that's something I think a lot of people don't realize about scientists and how hard they work is that experiments take a lot of time and it's normal, though maybe not the best practice to be in lab until 7, 8 p.m. until you finish running an experiment. There have been many days where I'll be back at 10 p.m. but then there are also days where I'll be back at 3. It just kind of depends on how the day goes. Those days though, the ones where I'm back earlier, are more of an exception than a rule. Um, so I'm just really glad that I'm back early and get to enjoy the rest of the night. Probably just gonna play The Sims, which is one of my favorite games and just relax until I get more work done tomorrow. I'm looking forward to actually documenting my time throughout grad school as to what it's like, not just to be a first year, but a second year grad student, third year, etc., all the way until the magical thesis defense. If you like this video, please remember to like the video and subscribe. I would love to hear your comments on maybe how your day is different. Um, if you're a PhD student that's not in biology, I'd love to hear how your process differs from mine. So thanks for watching.